Good morning, um, I'm John Nucos with the Northern Illinois uh, Safety Education Center and I'm gonna show us meat grinder safety. We're gonna get some Play-Doh here, which is more hygienic than meat. And we're gonna put it in the meat grinder. Turn the meat grinder on. All the meat grinders now come with a plunger that helps you push it in. We're gonna have a bowl that we have to push down the slot. And you notice, I can't even get you my fingers in it, so I can't reach the auger. Many accidents happen because the opening is too small um, compared to the hand, and if it is small, you're not gonna get your hand in there. If it's too large and you can put your hand in there, people stick their hand and don't realize the horizontal shaft is an auger. So we're gonna go in here, we should be able to see the meat come out of it, and we got now ground Play-Doh. But you can imagine, this is what it would do to anybody or any kind of meat that goes in here. Now, if I finish this, I need to clean this. And the first thing that everybody does is shut it off. Nobody's gonna clean it when it's on. But the accidents happen when the machine starts accidentally. Once every so often, let's say once every 400, 500 machines, that on-off switch doesn't work or you accidentally hit it by accident and it turns on. So we have to always go underneath it and unplug it. In this case, I'm just gonna pull it. And we, under lockout by OSHA, this is gonna be t retaining the plug under exclusive control. So when I have it here, there's no way nobody's gonna plug it in because I'm standing right here. Now we're gonna take apart this meat assembly because we cannot, we would always verify that we can't turn it on and you can see it won't work. Okay. Now we have the actual meat auger that's in here. And now we're gonna take off the die. And one of the things that's always important with this is that we have to show people what to do. Because if you don't show a person how to clean this, they don't know what to do. They don't realize that this die is separate from the auger. Here is the cutting knives. These are very sharp. So we never wanna make sure we're gonna go out and clean it. We're gonna make sure where hands are always away from the blades. And we can just pull out this cutting knife like that. And you can take a look at the auger. The auger is stainless steel, but you could imagine this is a pretty painful. If it grabs a shirt sleeve or starts on your hand, you're not getting out of this. And the dye would be rinsed out if it was meat, would be with soap and water because this is gonna have bacteria and you're gonna to have to be conscious that this is not a good thing to have. If it gets sitting overnight, the, the bacteria would go out there. But that's be cutter safety and we wanna make sure we shut it off and unplug it. If you do that, you shouldn't get hurt. You just have to teach people that this little knife is very sharp. So you have to make sure that you're treating it like you do a knife that you're cutting anything at home with that's exceptionally sharp. Thank you very much.